30, um, basically about one hour to one hour and 30 minutes only. What the content will be, just wait um, for that day. And the presenter will not be me. There will be other people um, I have invited. Um, just stay tuned and I hope you can benef get benefits from the um, program that I'm going, uh, that you are going to join next week. <clears throat> there is supposed to be. Okay, so we are done with that one. So now we are going to get into the first part of today. Okay. So for session one, part one, basically the first thing we are going to Okay, we are going to the objectives of the first part is you are going to learn and revise the grammar form of be going to for future plans and also intentions. Uh, siapa yang nak share with everyone what do you understand from the word intentions? Ada tak? Who would like to share with everybody what do you understand from the word intention? If there's no niat, siapa tu? Can you just say your name? Auni. Auni. This is Auni from um to Mutiara, kan? Yes. Yeah, Auni. What would you, uh, what do you understand from the word intention? Dia macam niat. Ni oh niat. Sorry sorry. Okay niat. <clears throat> Anyone would like to argue, or probably you have other um definition in your brain in your mind about the the word intention. Kita nak tanya ni lah. Damia Handsome. Would you agree with um, Auni, Damia? Yes. Yes, thank you so much. So betul lah tu, intention tu macam niat ya kan? Okay, and plans, kalau I think everyone know plans is perancangan atau perancangan. Okay, so after that you are going to be able, by learning in this part, you will be able to contrast. Contrast ni maksudnya beza kan? Uh, between will and be going to. So let's quickly get into the first part. Okay, you are going to study the table together with me. Eh, asal dia kembang kempis, kembang kempis ni. Okay, we are going to study this table together and we are going to complete the table. Okay, let's look at the first one. Affirmative. Rasanya I've been telling you, especially my two berlian and two mutiara last time when I was um, teaching you in form one, Affirmative ni basically when you want to talk about something yang confirm lah, kan? Something yang confirm ataupun when you want to say facts. Benda-benda berkaitan fakta. Okay, that's normally affirmative. Dia daripada perkataan apa? It's from the word firm. Kan? When you are firm about something, maksudnya kau yakin, kau tetap, you know that that is correct, nothing strong about that one. So that's what we can understand from the word firm. That's why affirmative tu maksudnya you want to say something that is true. Okay, so we look at the first one. Sekejap eh, ramai pula orang. <clears throat> okay, before that, when we want to use be going to for me, the verb be going to, we have to bear in mind that the word be ni, dia ada anak-anak dia. I think I've told you before. The word be has, um, there are many other words um, under the word be ataupun kita panggil ni verb to be lah. Verb to be. Siapa nak try? Any one of you would like to try to share with me what are the, who are the siblings under the verb to be? If you can still remember from uh, my previous lesson in 2020. Anyone? Maybe from to Berlian and to Mutiara, to the Lima pun also if you know people, you can try. Siapa yang masih ingat? There are five. One, two, three, four and five things under verb to be. Let's recap a bit from last year. Tak ada pun yang tahu ni. Yeah. Who's that? Can you please say out your name? Jamie. Jamie. Yes, thank you, Jamie. Which uh, I know you want to try. Can you give me one only? Verb to be. Mm, M. M. Thank you so much. So we have M. That is correct. I think now the others got the clue. Siapa lagi ada yang tahu? Mungkin the adik-beradik of the word M ni. 
Sure. Who's that me? That boy. Let me know your name. Ideal. Ideal. Okay, ideal. Other than M? R. R? Can you spell for me? R. R. A R E. Sweet. That's correct. So we have three left. Sir. Siapa tu? Tell me the name. Who's that? Anna. Anna. Anna from to the Lima. Eh? Yeah. Okay, Anna. What's another one? Is. Thank you. That is correct. Okay, there's two more. Yang two more ni dia from past tense lah. Siapa nak try? Verb to be. Sir. Yes, sir, sir. Saya, saya, sir. Oh, yeah. Saya, saya, saya. What's your name? Khadija. Khadija. Okay, Khadija. Word. Word. Thank you so much. So, and we have one last. So, we have M, R, E, and Word. What's another one? Apa lagi? Uh, was. Can I check? Was. Ah, uh, was. Okay lah. I cannot was. catch. Ramai saya nak cakap. So, it's was eh. Okay. So, you have to be... Okay. Um, Let's get back to the topic. You have to bear in mind whenever you want to use be going to form, okay, the one that I'm showing you here, you have to make sure that the word be in front, eh, the word be in front could be changed ataupun kena ditukarkan kepada one of these five. Okay, it has to be changed to one of these five. So with that, let's look at number one affirmative, this one. Who would like to try? Can you just um unmute, say out your name, then you give me the answer. Anyone would like to volunteer to try? Fadila. Fadila. Okay, Fadila. What do you think would be the answer for this one? M. M. Thank you so much. Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. I am going to work in a hotel. Okay, so from that, we know that the word M over here under the B going to, dia punya partner adalah I sahaja. Okay, for the word I, Sorry, for the word I, you have to use the B verb to be M. Okay, that's what you have to bear in mind. Okay, so that's correct. Uh, let's move on to the negative part. Negative ni basically, um, you must add something before going to. Basically, ada perkataan B. Eh, sorry, sorry. Ada the B verb. Before that, ada B verb. And after that, you have to add something um, before the word going. So, who would like to try? Anyone would like to, to try? Me, me, me. Who's that me? Jamie. Jamie. Siapa? Jamie, sir. Jamie again. Okay, Jamie. What do you think would be the answer? R. You are. That's correct. Sebab kat sini pakai you. So, after the word you has to be... R. That's correct. Thank you so much. So, we go back to this part. So, kalau R, kita kena, boleh guna dengan you. Apa lagi? Other than, other than you, what else can we use with the B verb R? They. They. Thank you. Another we. one? We. we. Awesome. Okay, semua ingat bagus. Okay. Lepas tu, is. Kalau is, kita boleh guna untuk apa? She. 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 Right. Lagi? He. He. If we have she, definitely we have the pronoun for the boys, which is he. And what about pronoun for things? Animals. Kita akan guna? It. 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 All right, well done. So, everyone knows the answer. Good job. Okay, so let's go to the question. Okay, kalau buat question, um, the arrangement of the B verb, eh, sekejap. Yeah, dia punya arrangement dia akan berbeza, okay? Basically, the B verb is going to be the first word in your sentence. That's why it is blank in the first um, part of the sentence. So, basically, I'm just going to share with you the answer. So, for this one, I think everyone knows as well. So, the answer has to be, Are you going to be free this summer? Okay? Itu cara kita nak tulis. For example, kalau soalan dia dia nak cakap pasal she pula. Kan? So, dekat depan jadi apa? Dia kena jadi, is she. Contohnya, is she 
going to finish my food. Sedihnya dia nak habiskan makanan tu kan? Yes, she is going to finish your food and you are going to be starving. So, this is just an example. Sama juga kalau kat sini ada perkataan he, we are going to use the word uh, is juga kat depan. Alright, so that's a bit from a uh, little bit of extra explanation. And lepas tu, the last one, if you want to give um, a short answer, if your answer is yes, then kalau I, kena guna M. Kalau contohnya yes, we, kita kena guna ah, Yes, they, ah contohnya. Kalau no, kena tambah not je. Tu je, as simple as that. Okay, so I hope it's clear. Let's go very quickly. It's already 11.47. Ya Allah, baru masuk first part. Okay, so basically meaning dia macam tu lah. We use be going to to talk about future plans untuk bercakap tentang perancangan masa hadapan dan kita punya niat. Okay, that's where we use the phrase be going to. Okay, so basically yang verb to be ni I have explained to you up here. Okay, the first three kita guna untuk present tense and the second, uh, the the final two we use for past tense basically, to in general. <clears throat> okay, so now we are going to get into this part also very quickly. You are going to complete the rules. Siapa nak try? Complete the rules with be going to or will. You don't have to copy, okay? Just respond to me um, in this session. We use what? <clears throat> to talk about future predictions or decisions we make at the moment of speaking. Agak-agak sini kita guna perkataan apa? Be going to ataupun will? Will. 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 Well done. Okay. Sini kita guna perkataan will. And the second one, we use something to talk about future plans and intention. So, ini tadi jadinya be going to. Okay. So, that's basically simple lah. They actually kan, the word will need to be honest lah from my own understanding there's not much different between the be going to and will dia sebenarnya tak ada perbezaan yang terlalu besar pun antara dua benda ni basically kalau kita guna um, for example if you want to talk about your future plans kan ataupun intentions um, in our sp daily spoken English it's not necessarily that you have to use be going to biasanya kadang kita going kita akan guna will je kan tapi in the actual grammar rules, this is the the thing that we have to follow. But in terms of letting other people understand about what we are saying, it's not a problem. Dan kalau dalam essay pun, it should be fine, I would say. Alright. Now, we are going to complete this activity here. Kenapa? Baru 61 orang. There should be 90 people today. Kenapa tak ramai ya? Takpe nanti I'll check. Uh, please remind your classmates, okay? I cannot check how many from two Berlian, how many from two um, Delima and two Mutiara are here. Okay, um, so let's try this one. Look at these pictures that complete the sentence with, eh, sorry, um, with will or be going to. Who would like to try? Number one, look at the picture of that um, probably Nene and there's a very very thin and tall uh, girl. Um, I think that's the girl actually offering to the Nene too. I dash help you carry those bags. So what do you think would be the answer? Anyone would, would volunteer? Me sir, Jen. Siapa? Jen. Jen. Okay Jen, what do you think the answer would be? Will. Will. Kenapa will, Jen? Um, because I think it's more suit for the sentences. Yeah, kalau perasan, if you look here, thank you, Jen, that is correct. Dia kata kat sini, when you talk about your decision at the moment of speaking. Ah, so, as you look at the picture, that particular girl has made a decision, kan? 
dia dah buat keputusan dah aku nak tolong juga makcik ni bawa beg ni uh, mungkin dia akan bagi aku upah lepas ni kan so that is why she made a decision at that particular time of um, at that particular moment that's why we have to use the word um, will that is correct thank you Jane now we move to the second one Number two, look at the picture. There's a picture of a boy. Probably he's at the ice cream stall and he wanted to buy an ice cream. So what do you think this boy is saying over here? Um, who would like to volunteer? Say your name again. Maybe I want to pick... Um, siapa ni? Hazik Anizam. Hi, Hazik. Hi, sir. Hey, Aziz. So, would you like to try for number two? That boy who is buying the ice cream. He will buy an ice cream. He will buy an ice cream. Betul ke agak-agak? Ada tak yang siapa-siapa nak try lain? Uh, Ifa Shakira? What do you think your answer would be? What do you think is the, the 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 most suitable answer based on the rules that we have discussed just now? Ifa Shakira one, Ifa Shakira two, yeah. hi Ifa Shakira. So what do you think the answer is? Is it going to be at the point will buy an ice cream? Going to be. Eh, going to be pula. Sorry. Eh, be to be going. So he be going to ke? Jawapan kau. Yeah. He be going to, sure? Yes. You don't want to double check the word be here? No. Sure eh? Okay. Who would like to correct Ifa? Don't worry Ifa, we are learning, okay? Anyone would like to volunteer to correct something that Ifa maybe has, forget, has forgotten? Me, sir. Damia. Who's that me? Damia again. Okay, Damia, what, what would you want to change here? He is going to. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, Ifa, make sure you have to be careful. The word B needs to be changed to is. Kenapa kita tukar the word B jadi is? Sebab kita tahu dekat sebelum tu adalah he. Okay, after he, the pronoun, eh, sorry. When the pronoun is he, it should be followed with, with the is as the B verb. Okay, dia kena he is. Okay, um, siapa tadi yang mula-mula Haziq eh, yang bagi jawapan will? Haziq, I think the answer is not will sebab kalau tengok kat sini dia kata about um, we are actually looking ataupun we are um, sebab dia kata he kan kat situ kan? So we think that he has intention. Uh, dia ada intention nak beli um, that ice cream. Alright. Sebab tu jawapan dia kena is going to. And the last one, eat dash grow a lot. Siapa nak try? Look at the pet. I think that's a dog. And the girl is um, imagining in her mind, in her brain, that the 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 dog dia can grow a lot. What do you think the answer would be? Saya pun tak sure yang ni. Anyone would like to try? Tak ada, I think I want to pick Muhammad Fikri. Fikri ni Fikri tu mutiara kan? Yes sir. Hi Fikri, what do you think the answer Hi. for number three Fikri? The pets ni? It is going to. It is going to. Okay, yes. dia kata it is going to. Ada siapa-siapa lain yang nak bangkang? Yang ini pun saya agak confused sikit sebenarnya. Tapi, kalau apa kita akan go fast, okay? Kalau kita tengok dekat sini, this cannot be is going to tau. Sebab apa? If you look back, going to is to talk about future plans, perancangan dan niat. Kat sini dia tak ada niat pun nak nak grow lebih besar. Tapi dia tengok the 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 pet and she thought that the pet um, will grow a lot where um, in just a few years ke contohnya, in just a few months for example. Sebab apa kat sini dia adalah, dia cakap pasal um, prediction. Okay, that 
girl over there is predicting that the pet is going to grow. Ah, uh, maksudnya dia, dia, the, the pet will grow a lot in the future. So the answer cannot be is going to berdasarkan maksud perkataan will and be going to tadi. So it has to be will. Okay, it will grow a lot. Sebab itu adalah dia punya future predictions. Dia punya um, apa? Prediction ni apa? Anggaran eh? Andaian, sorry. ya, Andaian masa depan. Okay. Alamak, belas dah. So we have to move to the second part now very very quickly. Okay, objective of this lesson, you are going to learn a set of future time expression and you are going to revise about would like and wouldn't like. So let's look at this very quickly. There's time expression plus will and the word when plus will juga. Dia akan jadi something, okay? Okay, when we make predictions about the future with will, we often use time expressions like this. Okay, apa yang kita boleh faham daripada the phrase of time expression ni, maksudnya kita, when we want to say something, we we make a reference of time. Okay, maksudnya bila dia cakap pasal time expression ni, kita ada buat reference about time. Ada buat rujukan berkaitan masa. Contohnya, as you can see, there's the word tomorrow. Tomorrow maksudnya esok kan? And another one, um, we can use time expression such as next week, minggu hadapan. And this summer, summer musim panas. Ha, ini sebab dia guna um, the context dekat UK, so dia adalah perkataan this summer. And one day, satu hari nanti. And soon, tak lama lagi. Okay? As we look at the example, biasanya kita akan guna time expression ni, kita tambah dengan perkataan will. Okay, contohnya as you can see here, I will be rich one day. Okay, I will be rich one day. Itu macam dia punya fitur, apa, dia, dia menganggarkan, eh bukan menganggarkan, dia buat andaian yang satu hari nanti dia akan jadi um, kaya. Okay, and another one, we use phrases with when, macam ni, when I go shopping, I will buy some new shoes. Okay, so the, kalau kat depan kita guna perkataan when, biasanya for the second verb, we will use the um, the word will untuk kita cakap apa yang kita nak buat. Okay, alright. So basically, korang guna time expression, korang guna when, korang tambah dengan perkataan will. So now, we are going to go very quickly into the sentence making section. So, I need someone to volunteer I need you to see first, there's the, for number one, you have to make a sentence using tomorrow and will. Second, next week dengan will. And the third one, when and will. So, I need you all to think about these three. Kejap lagi saya akan pilih siapa-siapa yang saya nak to share the sentence with everyone. Maybe just one minute lah. Then I'll pick anyone I want. One person be going to... Oh, it appears here. Okay, okay, okay. Sikit je lagi, sikit je lagi. Okay, so I guess you're already. This is very simple. Can I have um, Faris Irfan? Hi, Faris Irfan. Good morning. Can you please unmute? Tidak menjawab. Mungkin dia tidur. Faris Irfan satu... Faris Irfan 2, Faris Irfan 3. Hi Faris. Do you have internet connections problem? It's okay, we cannot hear Faris Irfan. So I want to pick Hamizan Johan. Hamizan, please unmute the microphone. Faris apa, kau mute je balik. Oh, dia terus left. 
Hamizan. Oh, semua tak nak respon eh. Sir? Hai Hamizan, good morning. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Okay, share with me a sentence using tomorrow and will. Uh, tomorrow I will visit my mom at the hospital. Oh, tomorrow. I will visit my mom eh? Yes. At the hospital? Ah. All okay. right. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Hamizan. That is correct. Tomorrow I will visit my mom at the hospital. Okay. Cuma something I want to remind you people, saya terlupa tadi. Uh, which is good. This is correct actually. Kalau korang perasan, the word will is followed by a verb kan? The word visit is a verb. And it is not just simply a verb, dia adalah root verb. Ya. Yeah. Kita tidak boleh cakap, I will visiting. No, nope. this is wrong. Ataupun, I will visit it. This is also wrong. Okay, this two salah sebab it has to be in root form. So, ing kena buang. Ed also has to be uh, crossed up from the word sebab dia kena guna root word well done Hamizan thank you so much so now I'm going to pick another person oops I'm sorry tak hilang okay I want to have another person to write about the second one next week and will maybe can I have Joshua hi Joshua hi sir how are you Joshua Good, sir. Awesome. I like it. So, what do you think you are going to do next week, Joshua? Can you share with us? Next week, I will be going to the bookstore. Next week, jah eh? Next week. Lama, kenapa di biru pula? Sorry, sorry. I change. I hear it. Next week, I will. Wow, this is good. Be going to. The bookstore. To the bookstore. Ah, this is also good examples, but it, it is going to lead me to another explanation. Thank you, Joshua. And I would say that this sentence is also correct. One correct. Okay, cuma, I think some of you would be questioning. Kalau perasan, kenapa? Um, tadi kan, I've, I've told you just now, kawan. Kalau kamu nak guna be going to... The word be kena tukar kepada is, am, are, was, or were. Betul tak? Betul tak? Semua mesti tak jawab kan? Tak apa-apa. Apa, apa. You have to say betul. Ya, yeah, okay. Uh, as you can see, betul. That's correct. That's what I told you. Um, be, you have to change with is, am, are, was, were. However, in this sentence, the word, the phrase be going to is correct. Okay, yang... Uh, Hamizan pula. Yang Joshua guna ni, be going to is correct. Kenapa? Sebab there's the word will. Because there's the word will. Okay? So, kalau kamu ingat saya cakap tadi kat atas, after the word will, we have to use root verb. Ah, uh, We have to use root verb dan perkataan be tu dia adalah root kepada yang lima ni. Okay, the word be is the root to all of these five yang adik-beradik ni. So, lepas perkataan will, we have to use the phrase be going to. Ha, dia macam buat combination lah. I will be going to the bookstore. Kan? This is correct. So, korang kena ingat. Selepas so, perkataan will, kena root verb. So, in case you want to use be, you don't have to change to is, am, are, was, were. So, it's going to make it wrong. Okay? Dikot rules, root verb. Alright? I hope you can understand. Nanti kalau ada soalan dekat dalam test sejak lagi, I hope you will get it correct. Thank you Joshua again. And the last one, can I have one more person? Um, maybe from, tadi dah berlian, dah ada lima. Maybe, maybe from one mutiara. I would like to pick um, Nur Aimi Zafira. Yes Nur sir. Aimi. Hello, Aimee Zafira. Good morning. 
So now I want you to do the last one. When plus will. Um, when I grow up, I when? will be a teacher. Oh, when I grow up, I will be. Ah, uh, I will be a teacher. I will be a better teacher. Then I will be better teacher than Mr. Iqmal. Sorry, I did a bit. So if you really want to be a teacher, you have to beat me. <laughs> Just kidding lah. All right. I will be a teacher. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Aimee. This is also correct. So sama juga macam Aimee and, and siapa tadi? Joshua's condition. Aimee used the word will, but at the same time is followed by the word be. So the word be is also in root form, in root verb, which makes the sentence correct. Yeah, I have to admit this person. Okay, so I hope everyone can also learn about this today. Very simple, just a bit of recap from what you already know before. So now we are going to get to the next part. The next part also simple juga sebenarnya. We are going to study the table together, then write, write sentences using would like or wouldn't like. So basically when you, um, kalau perkataan would, eh sorry, sorry. Kalau perkataan would ni maksudnya benda yang you want to do kan? Something that you, when you would like to do something, eh sorry, would like ni benda yang positif lah. Okay, something positif. And something that you wouldn't like, normally it's related to negative. Ataupun not. Sebab ni apostrophe N tu adalah not. Okay, so now we look at the rules very quickly. Would like, would like plus infinitive. Okay, maybe some of you might be having the question in your mind. What do we understand from the word infinitive? Okay, so kalau kita nak go details into the meaning semua, it's going to be taking a lot of time. But basically what I can share with you, kalau korang nampak perkataan infinitive ni, maksudnya adalah um, dia adalah verb yang didahului dengan perkataan to. For example, I would like to eat. Okay, so the word eat is infinitive. I would like to kill him, contohnya. The word kill is also infinitive. I would like to learn um, this night, contohnya, tonight. So this the word learn here is also an infinitive verb. Okay, itu je yang korang kena simpan dalam kepala. Kalau dia cakap infinitive, you add the word to before a verb, then that's it. Okay, we use would like to mean one. Ha, maksudnya something yang kita nak lakukan lah. We use the infinitive with to after it. Ha, nampak tak dia explain? We use the infinitive with to after it. Infinity ni maksudnya punya verb je lah. Tak ada apa pun. Okay, affirmative and negative. Benda yang kita, something yang positif dengan ni yang benda yang not. So, I would like to borrow your your pen. Kalau perasan, this is actually the contraction. Dia singkatkan. So, sepatutnya dia akan jadi I would like to blah blah blah. Okay. It doesn't matter if you write the contraction in the exam. Sebab sekarang um, the format for English writing is not like before. So, kalau kamu buat contraction like this pun, we should not penalize that one because we can still understand that. Okay. And the second one, the negative one. Tom wouldn't like to miss the concert. Maksudnya Tom ni dia tak nak ketinggalan uh, ataupun dia tak nak miss. Ha, yelah, tak nak miss lah, tak nak ketinggalan daripada menonton konsert tersebut. So as I told you, wouldn't kat situ maksudnya would not like. Okay, wouldn't like to miss the concept. And the next one question, would you like to take the dog for a walk? Ah, Sama juga kalau kita nak tanya soalan, perkataan would tu kena dekat awal-awal, at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, kalau jawab, and if you want to give the answer, kalau yes, I would. Kalau no, I wouldn't. Okay, sama je benda yang korang semua dah tahu. Okay, now look at this one. Um, Ada four Tapi I think I just want to choose one person to write a sentence about would like and only one person to write a sentence about wouldn't like. So now you have a, um, sometimes to think 
and I'm going to pick random people after this. <clears throat> All right, I guess everyone is ready. Um, can I have Mr. Wendy Clooney? Wendy Clooney, can you please turn on your microphone? Hi, sir. Hi, Wendy. Eh, Wendy ni lelaki ke perempuan? Sorry. <laughs> perempuan, perempuan eh? sir. I'm yeah. so sorry, I thought, I thought uh, lucky sebab kita kan ada George Clooney kan But it's okay, I'm sorry eh <laughs> Okay, thank you Wendy can, can you please give me a sentence using the phrase would like Um, I would like to eat an ice cream I would like to eat an ice cream nah, Simple je and it is Correct. Thank you, Wendy. You make me hungry now. All right. Sorry again, Wendy. Eh? Uh, thank you so much. So I would like to eat an ice cream. And another one now, I would like you to share about the word, the phrase wooden. Can I have uh, Ikwan, Muhammad Ikwan from Tudlima? Yes, sir. Hi, Ikwan. How are you? Hi, Kieran. Good. Okay, can you please share with me one sentence using um, not like, wouldn't like? I wouldn't like to sleep. I wouldn't like. Ini bukan yes, ikuan yes. umum saya eh? Yang lainnya suara? Yes, sir. Macam dah matang lah. I wouldn't like to sleep because I want to play game night. Yes. Okay, thank you, Ikuan. That is correct. Saya tak nak tidur. Saya tak suka tidur sebab I like to stay alive forever. Okay, that is correct. So, lagi dua tu nanti korang buat practice sendiri, eh. Okay, so far, do you have any question or not, people? We have covered part one and part two of our first session. Ada soalan tak? Kalau ada soalan boleh je. Maybe you can raise your hand like this. Stigman. Yes, who's that? Auni, eh. Kalau yang next, yang tadi tu kan, yang tomorrow plus will tu kan? Ah. Uh -huh. Bolehkah kalau kasi terbalik macam will will dulu baru tomorrow. For example, I will go to the store tomorrow. Oh, boleh tak ada masalah. Contohnya you say I will go to the store tomorrow. Yes, masih boleh. Kenapa boleh? The key is because the word tomorrow ni dia tidak mengubah maksud. It doesn't change the meaning. Kan, contohnya if you just throw away the word tomorrow, contoh kamu buang kan, dia akan jadi I will go to the store. It is still grammatical. Okay, kenapa again I say that it is can? Cuba kita terbalikkan perkataan tomorrow tu kat depan. Tomorrow, I will go to the store. Is it still grammatical? Yes, it is still grammatical. Masih lagi membawa maksud yang betul. Masih lagi mak bawa maksud yang betul. Okay, thank you sir. Welcome. And another situation yang ini mungkin kita jarang guna. Kalau paling-paling biasanya uh, person who are really into language lah dia akan guna. Dia akan buat macam ni. To the store, comma, tomorrow, I will go. <laughs> Now the word tomorrow is in the middle. Is it still grammatical? It is still grammatical. However, we don't normally use in our we don't normally use this number three ni in our um, daily conversation. It's either we use number one and number two. But I would say that all of these three are still grammatical. Masih boleh betul sebabnya perkataan tomorrow tu tidak mengubah maksud ayat ni pun. Kalau kamu buang pun betul, kalau kamu masukkan pun dia still betul. Okay, that's a very good question, um, Auni, I guess, if I got you right. Okay, any more question, people, before we get into our very, very last part? Sorry, Mimi. Yes. Uh, Adriana. Um, kalau, Hi, Adriana. Yes. Uh, kalau will sama shall kan, dia sama maksud. Uh -huh. But 
um, bolehkah kalau kita guna contohlah dua ayat ni kan I will go to the beach tomorrow and mm -hmm. I shall go to the beach tomorrow Ah, uh, Dua-dua pun boleh. Memang kalau perkataan shall, that, that's also a good question The word shall ni memang biasanya kita guna untuk uh, I dengan we sahaja Tapi as I told you lah tadi, mungkin the condition of the word shall ni It's like sentence number three ni Uh, dia tidak tidak wajib itulah uh, it's not compulsory for us to use the word shall dengan i tak wajib kita gunakan we dengan shall tu juga tapi the meaning is still there if you want to use you can use either i dengan we saja untuk perkataan shall okay okay thank you sir uh, welcome there's a very good question as well okay maybe one last question from anybody else from to berlian and to delima Okay, semua dah tidur. Okay lah, semua dah tidur. That's the end of our lesson. Just kidding. Okay, so we still have about plus minus 14 more minutes. And in our last part of today, we are going to, I'm going to play a recording. And you are going to listen to the recording of a radio program about pocket money. Okay, kamu akan dengar tentang pocket money. And we are going to complete the table down here from the listening activity okay we are going to complete a table from the listening activity but the first thing that i want you to do is i'm going to play it for the first time and i want you to listen for the person who doesn't get money from his or her parents okay i want you to try to focus for this question number one first Okay, I hope now everyone is ready to listen to the um, recording. I'm going to make it louder. Are you all ready? I hope yes. Okay, so I'm going to play. Kalau korang tak dengar clear, bagi tahu eh. Unit 6. Integrated skills. All about pocket money. Exercise three. Hi, and welcome to the Money Show. This week, we're talking about pocket money. How much you get, how you get it, and what you spend it on. We're going to take some calls from listeners now. And to start with, I think we've got Ben on line one. Hi, Ben. Hi. You're 13 years old, right? Yeah. Do you get any pocket money from your parents? Yes, I do. But my mum and dad also pay me for doing chores around the house sometimes. I see. What do you spend your money on? Sweets and computer games mainly. My parents buy all my clothes. OK. Thanks a lot, Ben. Let's go to line two now, where we've got our next caller, Lily, who's 16. Do your parents give you pocket money, Lily? No, they don't. But I have a Saturday job in a restaurant, and I get £20 a week from that. Do you save your money or spend it? Spend it. On clothes, usually. So you don't put any money in the bank? No. Okay. Now we've got another caller on line three. Harry, you're 15 years old and you've found a great way to earn money in your free time. Can you tell us about it? Yes. I do odd jobs for other people. Shopping, posting letters, that kind of thing. What made you start doing odd jobs? My parents didn't give me enough pocket money. I see. Do you spend the money you earn? No, I don't. I save it. Very sensible. Now it's time for some music. Unit 6. Integrated skills. All about... Oops. All right. So let's get back to this one. 
Um, who would like to volunteer to share with me um, whether... Oh, Izati angkat tangan ni nak jawab ke? Yes, Izati. You raise your hand. Oh, it is tekan. Okay, who would like to share with me uh, among those three people who didn't get money from his or her parents? Me, sir. Jen. Who's that? Me? Jen. Siapa Yen? Jen Olivia. Jen Olivia. Sorry, Jen. Lain suara kau sekarang. <laughs> Okay, Jin, who do you think uh, doesn't get money from his or her parents? Lily. Lily, betul ke? Uh, yes, sir. I think the third guy also didn't get money juga, kan? Um, yes, uh, uh, he gets but uh, not enough. Ah, he gets just, um, if I'm not mistaken, dia kata, I get money but just macam not enough lah, macam little money from the parents, okay, but still got. Yes, okay, yes. so thank you, Jin, and that's correct, the answer for this one is definitely Lily. Tapi, how does Lily um, uh, got money and can buy something? Siapa yang nak share? Apa yang Lily buat sampai dia boleh dapat sesuatu? Siapa ingat? She was part time. Jamie, eh. yeah. What did Lily do? She did a part time. She works. She she works a part time job. Okay, so she actually works um, a part time job. That's good. Does any one of you here do any part-time job? <laughs> Ada ke? Mungkin korang pet a cat ke kat rumah babysit siapa-siapa kan? Mesti korang banyak buat duit ni. Alright, so I guess that's it for the first part. So we know that Lily doesn't get money. Unlike the first person Ben tadi, dia dapat duit banyak gila daripada parents dia and everything basically is bought by his parents. Okay, so now I want you to listen to the table again. <laughs> Sorry, and everything basically is bought by his parents. Okay, so now I want you to listen to the table again. <laughs> Sorry, you don't listen to the table, you listen to the recording. And I want you to complete the table on your own. Okay, so what you can do now is get a piece of paper or if you have your writing book, that is much better. And Please, you don't have to copy the table, but just take note about Ben punya age, uh, dia punya way of making money, lepas tu Lily punya way of making money, dengan apa dia buat dengan duit tu, and also Harry, how old is he, and ap apa, what he does with the money he gets, okay? So, I'm going to play the recording again. Unit 6, Pronunciation Lab. Sorry, it's wrong. Unit 6. Right. Integrated skills. All about pocket money. Exercise 3. Hi, and welcome to the Money Show. This week, we're talking about pocket money. How much you get, how you get it, and what you spend it on. We're going to take some calls from listeners now, and to start with... I think we've got Ben on line one. Hi, Ben. Hi. You're 13 years old, right? Yeah. Do you get any pocket money from your parents? Yes, I do. But my mum and dad also pay me for doing chores around the house sometimes. I see. What do you spend your money on? Sweets and computer games mainly. Sweet. My parents buy all my clothes. Okay. Thanks a lot, Ben. Let's go to line two now, where we've got our next caller, Lily, who's 16. Do your parents give you pocket money, Lily? No, they don't. But I have a Saturday job in a restaurant, and I get £20 a week from that. Do you save your money? Or spend it? Spend it. On clothes, usually. So you don't put any money in the bank? No. OK. Now we've got another caller on line three. Harry, you're 15 years old and you've found a great way to earn money in your free time. Can you tell us about it? Yes. I do odd jobs for other people. Shopping, posting letters, that kind of thing. What made you start doing odd jobs? My parents didn't give me enough pocket money. I see. 
Do you spend the money you earn? No, I don't. I save it. Very sensible. Now it's time for some music. All right, everyone. So I'm very sure you have got all the information, um, all the information required. So now we are going to look at the age first. Who would like to share with me the age of Ben? Me, sir. Siapa tu? Jen. Jen again. Okay, Jen. How old is Ben, Jen? 13. 13 years old. You got 13. Is it correct? Anyone else would like to uh, um to to agree with Jane over here? Yes, sir. 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 All right. So the answer is thirteen. And what about Harry? How old is he? Fifteen. Fifteen years old. Siapa cakap me tadi tu? Who said me just now? Tak boleh, dia malu dah. Okay, yes, the answer is 15. Harry is 15 years old, that is correct. Probably he's form 3 now. Okay, tak ada lah. Okay, now we are going to look at the way of making money by each of the person. We look at Ben. Um, Siapa saya nak minta? Ah? It's okay, it's okay. You don't have to respond. I'm going to call Ain Sophia. Yes, sir. Hi, Ain Sophia. How are you? I hope you're good. Okay, so now I would like you to tell me um, how did Ben um, uh, make his money? By doing chores around the house. Yeah, he makes money by doing uh, chores around the house. Uh, kita tulis lain lah. He does chores around the house. Does chores. Apa maksud perkataan chores? Ingat tak? Ya, kerja-kerja rumah. I think last week kan we did kan housing chores. Chores around the house. Thank you so much, Ayn Sophia. Now I want to get the answer for Lily. I would like to call um, Arfak. How does Lily make her money? Arfak, are you with me? Arfak, one. Perfect two, perfect three, no answer. So I'm going to move to Damien Isaac. Alma, 29 dah. Okay, Damien, come on, quickly. Hi, Damien. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Ini, macam mana dia buat tu? Walk, I don't know. Uh. Okay, betul. Yeah. You work sekat mana? <laughs> she works somewhere. <laughs> Ada tak salah satu lain nak sebelum? Eh, lupa. Lupa, Restaurant. okay. Restaurant. <laughs> Restaurant. Restaurant. In a restaurant. Restaurant. Okay, which is good. Dia, gun dia buat part-time job. What is the part-time job? It is working in the restaurant. Okay, next, the last one, we are going to look at how did they spend ataupun how do they spend the money. We are going to see how Lily spend her money. And I want to hear from um, Erdian. Erdiana, sorry. Erdiana. Me, sir. Yes, I'm choosing you. So, macam mana Lily spend the punya duit? Apa yang Lily buat dengan duit dia? So, siapa? Adriana ke Erdiana? Kamu lah tu, Erdiana. Sorry. Okay. Um, she spent her money by buying clothes. Ya, yeah, by buying clothes. So, basically saya akan tulis kat sini. Dia buys, B-U-Y-S, clothes. Wow, bagus, bagus. Okay. Thank you, Erdiana. And the last one I want to hear from... Siapa ha? last kali ni? Um, Adli. Muhammad Adli. Ada tak Adli? Adli ni dua mutiara. Adli one. 
Adli tu, Adli tree, maybe the internet ataupun dia memang saja senyap-senyap kasi tapuk dia sana. Okay and last one I think I want to hear from Natalie Arif lah. Natalie Arif of to Berlian. What will be your answer for Harry? Hi Natalie. So what's your answer Natalie for Harry? What he did, what he does with the money? He saved it. He saves it. Well done. <clears throat> okay. All right. So good job. Thank you Natalie for your answer, for your last answer and that's correct. So everyone, thank you so much for your time. And I think we have covered so many things even though the things look simple. But um, I really hope you can apply all the things that you have learned today um, in the examination mainly and also in your real life. Okay, so before we go, is there anything that you would like to ask? Anyone got any question before I let you um, go? Question one, question two, question three. Kalau tak ada question, so sekejap saya nak tunjuk. Eh tak payahlah. So um, what I want you to do after this is complete your ujian pengesanan. Okay. Go. Take the test via the link I shared with you. Okay. So I hope you can complete this one. And this is very important lah. Junior ni baru masuk. Mana nak keluar dah? This is very important for you to get your 5% from your, uh, sorry, for your ujian pengesanan satu. So basically ujian pengesanan satu akan ada tiga part. Part one, part two and part three. Part two is today. And part one will be taken from your diagnostic test. And part three will be done next week. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. Um, thank you everyone for your time. Thank you for your participation. And I off to go for you to do the test now. With that, thank you. Bye and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye, thank you, thank sir. You, sir. Bye, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.